what I'm going to quickly show you is just how to create a simple locator application within MapSpread. MapSpread is, is a beautiful interface, very, very easy to use, simple and intuitive. I think it's important to know that I am not a programmer on MapSpread, so I don't have some insider knowledge that makes this easier than it should be. This really is how simple it is to use. And so the first thing we want to do is identify what we want to do, and that is create a, a simple map, a locator map for pet shops in the uh, Pennsylvania, New England area. And uh, maybe we have a blog, and we just want to add a, a little feature, a little locator map for pet stores in the area. So what the, we'll do is first, we want to add a layer. A layer is just uh, a series of data that you can put onto a map. And so you can have this in an Excel file, you can get it from a URL, um, you can get it from a web page, or create it just on its own. We've already got a file created, and so we'll browse and find that file. It's called 2007 Pet Shops. And so we'll upload that. Take just a second to upload, and then we'll get our notifications up here. It's converted it, it's imported it, and it's successful. Now in the bottom left, we'll see this flashing red icon that says the import is ready. We'll click on that, click on 2007 Pet Shops, look at our data here. As you can see, it already sorts it into its, its different columns and it identifies what these are, the city, um, and it gives it its name. Those are the top of the column on the spreadsheet. Um, this one we're going to identify as an address and we'll click finish. And this will import this into the map. You can see the points starting to be identified on the map. It looks pretty good. We'll come over here and zoom in a little bit so we can see these. Okay, now the purple doesn't match the color of my logo, so we're going to go in and click this little edit tool right here and click on edit. And then what we can do is change the color to a green like my logo is and click save. And you can see it automatically changes those to green. We'll zoom back in and it looks good. If there are more than 10 locations in a single area, it'll make an orange circle that's a little bit larger with the number if there's less than 10, it'll be a green circle with the number inside as well. Now it looks like we've got all of our data in there. What we'll do now is create our application. So we'll come up to the top, click on Create an Application, click on Create a Locator Application, and then we can change how the, the little balloons with information will appear when people use the locator map. We'll click on Edit. We want the pet shop name to just say Shop Name and the location all that says there. We'll click on Done Editing, and then what we'll do is customize our map. Now here you can change some of the features within Google Maps. You can add a scale to the bottom left, or an overview to the bottom right showing where you are in relation to a larger area. Um, we don't want either of those on our map. Uh, you can also disable the uh, scroll wheel zoom using your scroll wheel to go in and out, and your double click zoom, which is double clicking to go in and out. And so the next thing we'll want to do is actually upload our logo. We've got a little logo right here we've created for this. We'll upload the file, and there it is. Looks like we've got everything that we need for our uh, locator maps. So we'll click on Save and give it a name. We'll say Pet Store Locator Map. And now we can share this. We can either use the link right here, copy that, go to a new tab and paste that. And you can see just how great these, these maps look right up front. And there we go. We've got the, the locations along the side and we've got them over here as well. You can zoom in and, and uh, check these out and click on it and it'll show you the details. Then if we want to embed this onto our website, we just go back here, select the embed HTML code, copy it, go to the source code of our HTML document, paste it, save that, and if we refresh our page now, there's our beautiful map spread locator embedded onto our website. And that's it. That's how simple it is to create a locator map and map spread.